I'm just kidding. It was empty. I wouldn't hurt a juice box that had life in it. Hey, what's up, guys? Today is a new day. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're being productive, working towards your goals, and absolutely crushing it. Today, it is Saturday. It's the weekend. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do. I woke up on the floor. I woke up at like 5, made myself some breakfast. You know, I don't know what exactly we're doing today. I did the little art thing yesterday, and I, was, I woke up, and I was like kind of upset because I'm like... I really tried to edit the last couple of videos really cool and I was like trying to take inspiration from Casey Neistat. I realized that like, you know, that's not me, but then also like the viewers are going down and then I'm like, I shouldn't be worried about that. I should just be having fun creating and the numbers don't really matter. So I was like, you know what? Stop trying to make videos like everybody else. Just make videos like you, Dylan. And then I'm thinking, I forget how to vlog. How do I make videos like me? So I had to watch some Casey videos so that I'm like, okay, don't do this. And then I had to watch a couple of my videos so that I remembered how I I made videos and I'm like people liked them then and people don't like them now what did I change like what do I need to do so I figured out what exactly I'm gonna do and that is take the things that I like from around me and then mix them all together and create something that is me and I mean I've already done that basically I'm just gonna keep vlogging like I normally did but then add in more edits where I'm like going to the music like doing things and every cut is a different music thing that's just something that I already did anyways but this time I'm consciously doing it and also trying to get a bunch of different camera angles going on because I watched my newer videos videos and they got that going on and that's something that I really like about them. Alright guys, I will catch up with you guys when we carry on with the day. For right now, it's a little bit of a, an early morning Fortnite run with breakfast. And my breakfast is going to get cold. So, I'll just catch you guys a little bit in a second or later, two or maybe three. Bananas. Alright, 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 alright. So, I figured it out guys. I know what I'm doing. Jeez Louise, that took too long. All right, guys, so I am going to Tim Hortons to get myself a coffee because it's the morning time and I'm doing some morning stuff. And I'm gonna pick Dad up a coffee even though he's still sleeping and it's like, you know, Saturday. Maybe he'll be like, oh, you got me a coffee. Or maybe he'll just be like, don't wear me out. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, what an ab start to the day. I thought, hey, I thought, hey, let's ride through the, the field that's next to my house. It's probably not that bad. I got a fat bike all over the bike. It literally stuck to it like I've never seen before. The bike usually weighs like 25 pounds. It's got to weigh 50 now. My shoes. That, my friends, is a lot of damage. 
Well, I made it home completely fine with the coffee, and uh, <coughs> I think I'm a little bit muddy. I don't really know. This is obviously muddy. I can see that. And my shoes are obviously muddy. I can also see that. I guess now it's a matter of trying to get the hose turned back on and then washing this off because I can't leave it like that. And I'm going to guarantee you dad would not be happy if I just carried that inside the house. So I'm going to clean it out here. Just got to figure out how to turn the water on because it's off. It's like it's turned off from the inside. I don't know what exactly I look like the mud on my face. So I'm going to put my reaction in this video to how muddy I am. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I ordered a Tim Hortons like this with the dirt hanging off of me like this. Oh my god. I think I was just about, I was, I was done at that point. I was like, I don't care at all. Not one bit. And so, uh, yeah, we're a little muddy. This is uh, what the Tilson burn was like, but th there's not going to be a Tilson burn this year, guys. I was like, yo, everybody come and ride with us. But there isn't one this year, which sucks. So 2019 Tilson burn, you guys are going to see me there, and it's going to be like this. It's going to be, it's like hell on a bicycle, basically. So the sweet thing here is I found the way to turn the water on, so we should be good. It's time to go wash the bike up. I just woke dad up because, hold on, I gotta get my wrap out of my bag. Yeah, there's my wrap. So I just uh, woke dad up and told him I brought him a coffee, so. Morning, dad. <laughs> Good morning, Dylan Taylors. Today we're gonna do some protective stuff. What's on today? I don't know, I just brought you coffee. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet today. Either making light stands, or we're making the tactical shotgun. <clears throat> Both are happening this weekend, so I just gotta decide which one I'm doing today. Probably the light stand, so then I can have proper lighting while I'm working on the other thing. Walk over? No, I rode my bike. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, sorry guys, sorry. I, I wasn't saying anything. I was too busy staring at this ass's ass. Hallmark, you've done it again. There you go. Oh, come on, Hallmark. I really need to uh, probably have a shower today. Well, I mean, maybe. All right, so uh, Dad just patiently waited there while we filmed that little section of me putting my boots on. Also stopping at my car because I have a few things in there that I'll be able to make that light stand with. They're old music stands, like you know that like where you put your sheet music. I'm just gonna take the tops off of them and use them as like like poles for uh, lighting and a camera if I want things like that. And basically, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I'm assuming you can see it pretty well. I took some lime green paracord and wrapped it. So now it's, I guess it's a little bit nicer to hold on to than just the, the wood, because the wood was starting to splinter up when it got wet. So this is just really nice and grippy, and it's a little bit larger. And I guess if you're in a survival situation, now I've got a bunch of paracord. So there was a lot of flooding in our area towards the Lake Erie and we didn't get the chance to come up here and look at it because I was at a, a club meeting and uh, we didn't get a chance to come down here while it was all flooded. But this one road right here is flooded and uh, we're, we're just going to go take a look at it. Look at this picture, this is Instagram worthy. Roll up the rim, you got the watch, you got the road, you got the dash, there's so many different things going on. Perspective, my bros, perspective. Hey, look, there's some other people. 
That'd be cool if we drove an Escalade. They'd think we're a cop coming after them. They're going to see what's up too. These guys left the car running and on with the door open. Went up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They kind of look like the kind of people that would do that. Mm-hmm. Yep, just zoom on in. There they are. There they are. There they are. Yeah, you can see their feet. Oh, there's Dad. He's very concerned. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Yes, I, I am coming. Let's go. Yeah. Something else. <laughs> How do they put these hoses together? Is there a special tool that goes around this? That firefighters have? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hereditary. Well, no, I'm talking about like these. Like there'd have to be something that would attach to these like pins that would crank them together. See, I know that uh, I'll figure out how exactly those hoses go together when uh, I have my fire truck. So uh, guys, I think this is probably where the road washed out. Uh, maybe I should have brought the wider angle lens so that you could see this, but, and uh, the road would have went through here and it looks like it just completely dropped off over here. Like, I don't see a river. I guess there's just a, there was a pit there before, and then the road just kind of, it just gave way right here. He said stay off of it, but, well, I mean, come on, you know me. I gotta go climb on it. And uh, he, uh, he looks like he's too far away to stop me. Let's see, I need one of these too. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, that does sound. Ooh, there's the turning point. <laughs> yeah. I almost fell off right there. You know, that would actually be quite the fall. Like, I mean, that's gotta be, I gotta be like eight feet off the ground right now. That would suck. Climb off the tracks. We gotta take a picture. All right, guys. We got my picture now, and uh, Dad's impatiently waiting over here, so let's get going. So uh, we just got back in the truck, and Dad uh, pulled up the picture on Facebook of what actually happened before this fell apart, and it is insane. That Okay, so that's, that's what it looked like on either side. And then there. Look at that. Right under it. It kind of looks like a tunnel. There's like just the concrete was holding, guys. That's insane. That is... Asphalt. Just the asphalt, yeah, it's not concrete. We, we here can't afford some concrete. As we're back down to uh, Burwell now, and the pier flooded right over, so we're gonna go for a walk down there. Look, there's chunks of ice sitting on the ground. These chunks of ice are like six inches thick. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like this, so we're, we're gonna go for a little walk here. I do gotta say though guys, this is this is pretty crazy. Like this is a pier right here. It's just covered, absolutely covered in crap. And mostly ice, but a lot of crap. Are there any worms in it, Dad? No, no. just dirt. Just dirt. Hey guys, we are home now. I don't know if I said that, but we are home now. Uh, just ignore this fan and the TV upstairs. I basically just wanted to tell you guys something. If you guys film things and you guys want to make videos, save all of your clips. Doesn't matter how crappy it is, doesn't matter whether you think it didn't turn out, just keep them all until you're editing and you need to get rid of them maybe on your computer. So on yesterday's video, which is the one that I'm editing right now, because you guys are all a day in the past when you watch this, this scene right here with the spindle sander, All I did was set this camera on the table of the spindle sander, and since the spindle sander moves up and down and it bends, it kind of vibrates. So this camera just drifted all around the table, I'm like, ah, oh, that shot's gonna suck. It doesn't. It looks like it's on a dolly. Like, it literally just slowly moves. I'm like, that is good. I'm leaving the whole thing in there, and that is how that scene was created. By accident. Ah, uh, guys, I forgot to film an outro, and I haven't had a shower yet this morning, so I kind of look... Uh, 
guys, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We will see you guys all next time. Peace out.